So today I'm gonna show you how to run payroll on Gusto. So we're actually gonna hop over here on the desktop so you can follow along step by step. Now we're currently on the run payroll section here, but I'm gonna take us quickly back to the homepage just so we can kind of get a really good starting point because once you log in, this is gonna be the first section you go through. Now, as you go ahead and create your Gusto account, if you haven't done so already, it will ask you a couple different things such as frequency of pay, as well as potentially adding your employees. Now, if by any chance you haven't already added employees, there is the people tab over here that you can go ahead and add. And you can also add in contractors if they are somebody that is not working for you as a full-time employee or even a part-time employee. They will run on a separate payroll, which I have a separate video for how to do just that. But for our example today, we're gonna be showing you the step-by-step -step process of doing a payroll for a full-time or part-time employee. Now, as a really quick side note, if you have not yet already signed up for Gusto and wanna go ahead and go through that process, that link in the show notes down below, one, will get you a really nice sign-up bonus for going through our link exclusively, but also get you to the right landing page to go ahead and go through the process to sign up and create your account right away. Now, again, we're gonna go through this as if you already went through and added your employees. So we're gonna go over on the left-hand side here that says the word pay and it has that little piggy bank icon. This is gonna bring up a drop-down menu for you and you're gonna see either run payroll or pay contractors, which for our example, we're gonna of course do run payroll. So let's click on this. And this is gonna take you to the run payroll section. Now, again, because of when you set up your account, you might have a, you know, paying every two weeks, paying every week or the first and the 15th in your settings, which you did when you opened up your account, which of course you can go in and change that on the back end as well. But for our example here today, you could see when your payroll is potentially due if you have that scheduled up there. And depending on how that works for you, you can go ahead and click on run payroll. Obviously ours is due in 32 days, but you can do it however works best for you. But just as a quick example, if you by any chance need to do something like off your actual normal payroll, there is on the right hand side over here, you can see it says run an off cycle payroll. You can also run a bonus payroll as well as some additional options. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is right over here where it has the up next box. So we're gonna click on where it says run payroll. And this is gonna take us right over here where you can see it actually makes sure that we're clarifying that this is a regular quarterly payroll. For ours, yours might be a regular two week payroll or whichever system you have for your back end. Now for us here, you can see that when we are submitting it, when the payday is on and then the actual time worked. Now these are all preset for us because for this example, the person getting paid is a salaried employee. So they're getting paid their amount of hours for that quarter. Now for us here, you could see this is the total earnings for this employee. And then you could see what their current rate is for the year. And then again, how many hours, which equals out their total pay. All right, so I went ahead and jumped off screen here because there's a few more things we wanna check out here for us. You can see there are things like bonuses right over here and some other options as well for like commission in case that employee has commissions. But there is also this scroll over here that we can kind of keep going all the way to the right hand side and you could see additional things like that reimbursement, the deductions, and you can actually drag these depending on the importance of these orders. And then right over here, I think for some people might be really important is the payment type. Now they do of course do direct deposit with Gusto, which the employees can actually set up themselves once they have their account up and running, which is really nice. But if you actually click on this here, you can actually choose a check as an option for that employee if they would prefer that check. And then there's these three little dots over here for more actions to go ahead and skip on that payroll for that individual during this time period. Now, one thing I did wanna also mention as well too is again, we have this as an employee with a salary, but if you are having somebody who is an hourly employee, you set that on the back end under their profile. And then when you are here, you can actually put in their regular hours. So you'll be able to adjust this. For this employee, we can't change the hours because they are a salary employee. But for that other person, you can actually come in here and put in if they worked 80 hours, 40 hours, whatever amount of hours they worked during that time period for payroll. Now, if everything looks good here for us, we're gonna click on review summary over here at the very bottom. So next up here is going to be the review. This is something you definitely want to take your time and go over, make sure everything looks good. This is pretty much dotting your I's and crossing your T's. You're gonna see here the review for the total withdrawal is obviously higher than the employee's pay because as an employer, you get to pay your taxes in there as well. So you can see the total payroll, the total withdrawal amount, this might be different than the total payroll in case the person's getting a check in the mail or a check physically at the store instead of a direct deposit. It'll show you which account you have on file that it's gonna withdraw from. 
the withdrawal date, and then the employee pay date, which of course is going to be different than the day it pulls out for you, depending on the level of account that you have. Now, there are some instances where you can have the pay go in much faster, depending on the level of tier that you have for your Gusto account. Now, one of my favorite things with the Gusto payroll here in the review section is the ability to see the total cost for the company. You can see right over here. You can see the gross pay. You could see the company taxes as well. And then, of course, that total. So you can see how much you as the company is paying in for this particular payroll. And then there's even the section over here that you could toggle down, which I'll do here in a sec. So right over here in the tax breakdown, if I click on this, you can actually see the full breakdown of the employee taxes and the company taxes as well. So if you want a clearer picture of essentially where your money is going and how it's being broken apart, you can actually see that in this tax breakdown. All right, so I went ahead and hopped off screen here one more time for us. And once we have everything checked out, make sure that everything looks good. We can now go ahead and click on where it says down here, submit payroll to go ahead and run our payroll on Gusto. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you have yet to sign up for Gusto and want to open up your account, we'll have a link for you in the show notes down below that gets you a nice little bonus for using our link exclusively. Now that link helps us out so we can make more free content just like this for you. And speaking of free content, check out our next video on screen here to keep on learning more when it comes to utilizing the Gusto payroll software.